we're going to do the Q&A in the system that works. All okay. right. All right. It's Q&A uh, time, everybody. It's Q&A time. Distractible, everyone. Mark's new podcast, Distractible. Go, my favorite sports team. My favorite sports team is Distractible. So, yeah. um, uh, the first question is from Lucian and it is what do y'all think about frogs? They're very riveting. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh that's that's what we collectively think about frogs i don't have anything to add to that yeah i, got I don't know what they thought was gonna happen sable flag <laughs> wants to know if we saw the nft bros who bought a copy of an old dune art book for three million dollars and now think they own dune as an ip oh uh, i did see uh, this the book is apparently worth 25 grand on its own, but these guys are idiots who think they own Dune now, I guess. I I kind of glanced over this. I try to ignore most of these things, but I did see this. But there was some other detail about how, like, they don't think they own Dune, but it's still just as stupid the other reason. What was it? Let me look into this. I don't know. I see the I letters mean... N, F, and T together, and I just turn on something else. <laughs> uh. Spice DAO made waves when they triumphantly tweeted about the recent acquisition of a rare art book, Jodorowsky's Dune, the guidebook to an ambitious but ill-fated film adaptation of Dune. These Spice heads had big plans to convert the book into NFTs, burn the physical copy, and adapt the story into an animated series. There's just one problem. Little did they know they don't actually own the copyright to Dune. All they own <laughs> is one very expensive book. Okay, so you might be right. So they about literally that, yeah. bought a book of art and were like, and we'll make this into a show because we own it. <sighs> how how can so this is a thing. NFTs are a bunch of the NFT culture is a bunch of like bros who are like, oh, this is the future, it's web 3.0 and all this stuff. This all about ownership the block train the blockchain as a like a form of of ownership and proof of ownership how can people who are in that world not so fundamentally not understand basic copyright law well, how did that happen why would they understand basic copyright the only reason i that know basic copyright game, law I know. is Jeez, because i started they own YouTube. copyright law yeah exactly it supersedes <laughs> it it's, super, it's bought, decentralized therefore they bought an nft of the constitution so they thought they would be above the law <laughs> <laughs> No, they own it. Uh -huh. They own the law. Uh-huh. Yeah. I actually bought an NFT of a uh, picture of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, so I thought I could just make whatever law I wanted now. Yeah. The Supreme Court. That's me. Highest highest court in the land. Quid pro quo. You are on the Supreme Court if you own that. <laughs> Quid pro, pro quo. I own the NFT to that word, so I know how to use it correctly. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. I this only strengthens my belief that NFTs are a scam and I hope they go away. <laughs> it's not right. a scam. Good bro. question. Good future. question. Great Good question. question. Great question. Good All right, question. here's a here's a Deese question. Marissa Exley. Mm -hmm. That's not how that's spelled, but there's a phonetic pronunciation, thank you. Wants to know what grade had the largest number of our favorite memories? You have, a, you have a K through 12. Aww. That's not a grade, though. If it's specifically... Babe. Yeah. No, it's but 13th grade. If it's if it's actually about grade, um, just by pure quantity? I guess senior year of high school. Because a lot happened in senior year of high school. Freshman through junior was kind of floater years. I don't even remember sophomore and junior at all. Like, I got, like, no gonna, memories out of there. I'm going to go with freshman year of high school. And part of that's because I was I declared war on one of my teachers, and it was fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. It was the only time I ever did it. I remember yeah. that. You told that story. What, did you tell that on the podcast or something? Probably, yeah. I remember that. <sighs> Sounded very spiteful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fun time. Fun time. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had, a, we had a good time. I think mine is probably senior year of high school too. I mm. my first three years of high school, I thought I was gonna be a football player. That didn't really pan out. I don't know what to do. Senior year, I uh, I got a girlfriend for the first time in my life. That was pretty cool, and uh, it was a good year. I had friends for the first time in my life. That's good. That's good. Ah, uh, that's only kind of true. I have more friends. How about that? <laughs> okay. Um, that was a good year. Good question. Thank you. Thank you. Pew Pew's question is all lowercase favorite movie. 
Jurassic Park. Ratatouille. Pulp Fiction. Ratatouille? Ratatouille. I love Ratatouille. The man who just learned about tasting and chewing food not six months ago's favorite movie is about a rat that can taste and chew his food? Yep. Is that a new development, or have you been a Ratatouille fan since before you did that? No, I've been a Ratatouille fan for a while. I don't know what it is about the movie. It's it's not so much that I think it's the best movie ever made. I can just watch that nonstop, and I get the same, like, it's a very, like, pleasant, comfortable movie for me, because, you know, you get, like, all the food and, like, the warmth of it, and you get, like, the, the Paris and, and all the, the beautiful architecture, and it's, like, really well made, and I like the music. I, it's just, like, a very... Con consistently entertaining movie for me. It is. Yeah. This is, that, I think you know what I well you know what movie. I would compare to that? Not what? necessarily my favorite movie, but another one that's like that for me. Kung Fu Panda. It's always good. People make fun of Kung Fu Panda. I think I it's a very it. solid movie. It's very good. It's the fr uh, the the sequels and all the spin-off stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. Eh, oh, it's fine. The first Kung Fu Panda great movie mm -hmm. always good to watch if it's on the airplane if i'm on a flight and kung fu panda's on there or ratatouille mm. both of those are instant yeses for sure i get yeah. that i like uh my favorite disney movie is still gonna be great mouse detective where the mice get drunk and then they misbehave and the rat feeds them to a cat that's, that's probably good. the best that's one good. that's good but we didn't say yeah. disney movie well i saw this Jurassic park is my favorite movie best disney movie is great mouse detective ah, I gotcha. i'm giving a bonus answer because i Have want you guys to talk more have you guys seen Encanto? No. I have not. It's good. You should watch it. I've heard. It's good. It's good. I've not had uh, Next question is from Floppy Bacon underscore Buster. Uh, what is the okay. scariest thing that you have ever experienced? Being hit by a semi. Ah, it always comes back to the car. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's the only time in my life I've really had my life flash before my eyes and thought I was going to die. So, uh. Yeah, definitely that. That's fair, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really had any scary experiences. I'm pretty safe. Uh, I've had quite a few scary experiences. Um, most of them are very serious and not fun to talk about. So I'll just say I've had a few to pick from. Yeah. Mine is maybe I had a car, a very minor car crash one time where I, I was like gr sleepy. I it was just a bad decision, and I like changed lanes into a car. But the car that I ch that hit me was also going like super fast. Mm -hmm. Like it was one of those things where when we we both got out of our car and pulled over, and I was like, oh god, shit, this is my fault. And the lady got out of the car and was like, um, I just I I don't know how that happened. I just looked down for a second. I just whew, like she was going like double the speed limit or some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. uh, but I had forgot my phone. Somehow I left the house. I was going to just like pick up food or something, and I didn't have my phone and so like the police got there and i'm just like uh, mandy is waiting for me to bring home wendy's or something and she i have no phone or way to contact her and i asked the cop to borrow his phone and i call her a couple times and she doesn't know that number so she's like ah, i'm not answering that that's a spam call mm -hmm. so but i didn't leave a voicemail because i'm an idiot so it wasn't like the crash but the the subsequent stuff of like trying to tell mandy i'm on the live and then her being like what the hell is going on that was not so good. Good memories. Good memories. Good memories. Yeah, fun good stuff. question. Uh, Paige Peterson wants to know what our favorite Pokemons is. Uh, Shiny Charizard, Mewtwo, Alakazam. I don't know. Those are all my favorites. I, you got uh, one, Mark? You big I, Pokemon? I mean, I don't like Pokemon, so I don't really. Mm. Which one's your favorite, favorite of the things you hate? Yeah. Which one's your least hated? How about that? Uh I uh, You seem like a Badoof kind of guy. A Badoof? Oh wait, I've heard of a Badoof. Uh yeah. that's no, not Madoof. Badoof. Oh, that one's cute. That's cute. It's a little beaver. That's pretty cute. I'll go with that one. Yeah. I like Trubbish. A He's a pile of garbage. <laughs> what about Garbador, the evolution? <laughs> Is that real? Yeah. Garbador? Oh my god, Garbador. Oh, oh my god. Oh. What a terrible Gar existence. Is he a mix of garbage and a troubadour? Why is he Garbador? 
I don't know. Trash spilling out of a large torn garbage bag. Yes, okay, Garbodor is my favorite Pokemon. Mm. He's got like cigarette butts and rope. <laughs> Wait, I got cigarette butt fingers and candy I, eyeballs. I found a website that's favorite Pokemon picker, and I think it lets you choose one, and it'll like sort out which one's your favorite. I like this Gearbox guy. That's There's also fun. a Gigantamax Garbodor version. Cute. He has a dildo finger. <laughs> there, but that's fun. Look at his hey, hand. I pick some. Okay. What this is? What am I looking at? It looks like a intestine and a. It looks like a. It looks like a placenta and a fetus. What I pick it? I'm picking it. I don't what's know what that is. It, what's it Look called? Hips on this one. What the hell? What? This is weird. Ah, I don't know. Ah, There's a lot more Pokemon. I don't recognize. What's it, what's any it of called? These. What's it called? Mark? I don't have a name. I'm j I'm going through the quiz. It's I'll let you know picture. when I'm done. Okay. Hang on, hold on, hold on. Placentas and dildos. I'm serious. It looked like a, a placenta and a fetus. Like it looked, it looked like afterbirth. Is all I'm saying. That teacup's pretty cute. What the fuck are you looking at? I'm looking at the Pokemon favorite Pokemon picker. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's what it is. This guy's like a tree. I don't know. That's just a fish. What is that? Can you send us a picture of the placenta? I'm That's not there anymore. Let would... me go through the quiz and I will show you everything. I can't Ooh. believe that's a sentence I just asked out loud. Oh, I like him. What is with this guy? Oh, I like Purple Pony. Purple Pony. Well, that's a yeah. different... That's not Bidoof. Oh, it does. If I ho hover over it, that's a Bibberal. I don't like him. I don't like yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's good. Pass. Oh, this is a fun game. How many uh, of these are there? Your face is blocking a couple of them, Bob. Uh, uh, cool, I'll, I'll move it over. Just let me know oh when you find the Oh my god, the there's a Bob. cat. That's just a cat. I'll take it. That's <laughs> just a cat. It's just a cat. <laughs> oh, I found the tree guy. Yeah? Oh, oh it's a, a hippo. Oh, it's a I like grubbin. hippo. What the hell is Magnezone? What happened? Magnezone? <laughs> well, I know all. Magnemite and Magneton. Who's Magnezone? Oh, that's the third evolution. This one's got like a dress. Lil Lilligant. Wait till you see Little the Galarian Ultix and all. They man, they've changed everything. Oh my God, who are you, Whalmer? Uh, what the hell is you, Conkledur? <laughs> <laughs> His name is Conkledur with two oh, R's. Wow. <laughs> he carries around big stone uh, dick things. This one's just a purple skunk with weird oh, eyes God. named Stunky. Stunky? Stunky? It falls into Stunk Tank. No, the hell it does not. <laughs> it does do. Stunk Tank. Oh, it man. Does. That one's cute. Why is it evolve into Stunk Tank? And why does he have an emo tail? I don't know. That is another what tree. What in the hell How is many happening? How trees are there? This, I is have... just a, this is just a koala called Kamala. <laughs> oh, what? That seems lazy to me. Uh... There's also Stun Fisk. Oh, boy. And Palpitode Crogunk. Cro Man, you guys are really scraping the bottom here. Crogunk. Oh, this Those one's just got a the tumor on his ass. <laughs> they gave up a while ago. Oh my god. I am so not far into this quiz. Yeah, the, the little thing at the bottom progresses a tiny sliver at a time. This is a penguin with his head frozen. What is that? Oh, there's a tree with legs that's called a Zyrka tree. I'm just gonna oh, have to- Did you see the ice cream cone called Vanillish? I just gotta do one of those videos <laughs> no. where I look at the, all these and try to come up with a name for it, because Good God. Uh. Uh, oh, what is this one? Blacephalon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it. All this right. one looks like a sloth snake called Silicobra. I'm just, I'm just going to skip through the, I'm it. I, there's 602 more to get. No, I'm done. Oh, geez. I'm done. Thank you. I'm done. Okay, okay. Oh, Gray, uh, Gray Ninja is apparently one of the top 10 favorite Pokemon of the year. Uh, not as good as Green Ninja, the third thank you. Of Froakie. Oh, sure. That's an 
I don't know. Next my, question. My favorite is still Trubbish. Moving on. Oh, no. What was it? Tr tr gr gr Gigantamax gar Garbador. Gigantamax Garbador. There we go. That's my new favorite Pokemon. Uh, Avtu wants to know what was our most favorite childhood memory? Uh, <sighs> spending time at my grandparents' cabin, like out on their pontoon on the river slash lake. I guess just going into the woods with my brother. Those are those good memories. Good times. I think I'm... Lake or Candy Uncle, one of the two. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my, uh, on my uncle right before he mysteriously exploded. My yeah. uh, my favorite is probably summer vacations in northern Michigan. Going like lakes and like uh, boats and fishing and, you know, stuff. That sort of stuff. Uh, this is not a question, but Kick Club says that Kick Club Productions has a surprise for you. I guess we'll see about that. For who? Uh, for you. Us I in general. Know. You, you know. Okay. Uh, uh, Untrusted Life asks... Well, I put it... I put it into Google Translate, nothing came out, so I'm really unsure about that one, but... Mm, okay, okay. A yes, I guess, would be my answer. I'm going to go with no. I gave my <sighs> answer. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Kick Club actually did ask a question as well. What is one of your most life-changing moments, like a light switch that changed the course of your entire life? Doesn't have to be serious. For example, Mark choose food now. I mean, I guess that would be one. That's a pretty big one for you, honestly. It is. It has really changed my experience with food. Um, that party where Mark and I talked about YouTube and stuff before Drunk Minecraft. Hmm. Uh, the choice to go to law school was a big one. The main change that that created for me was that I have a crushing amount of student loans, but that's a pretty big impact, I guess. Um, I guess just like deciding to do something on my own post that surgery, not the one we were talking about earlier, but like before I did YouTube. When I yeah, I mean, it kind of worked out. Things. Yeah. I think you should revisit graphic novels. I, I've thought about it. I have a few ideas. You could still finish that degree. I could. I could. What do I got to do to get an honorary degree? Just give me one. Just call I'd probably like, donate hey, a I bunch of money to a university. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Uh, Isa wants to know, how's Chica? That seems like a Mark question, I got to be honest. Oh, I'll answer that one. Uh, Chica's doing great. Thank you. Well, that really worked well, out. That's the answer. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm glad that that's the answer. I I hope Chica does great forever. Mm -hmm. uh, Mumbles wants to know what are our favorite flowers and why. Well, you know us. You know we've got favorite flowers locked in, ready to go. I like sunflowers. Pretty cool. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go with the ones that make chamomile tea because I got to pluck a few of them in Dying Light too, and I really like seeing those chimamoles. Interesting. I like tulips because they remind me of Holland, Michigan, and Dutch things in general. You, oh, I could have gone with dandelion. My curative dandelion yeah, is true. But you do know that it's called a chamomile, like the, the flower. You Yeah, not, it's not the milly. plant that makes the tea it is, is. chamomile Chimomily. it has a spoon on Chimomily. one of the leaves and it stirs your tea for you chamomile yeah chamomile <laughs> <Chimomily. laughs> uh, known as the 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 camel mile uh-huh chamomile chamomile yeah uh bismuth wants to know who was our favorite teacher well that seems like skirting the whole rules of the poll that we did but i guess we could answer that mm -hmm. Mrs. Bockledge. 
You Why? guys didn't know. Oh, I yeah. mean, she was just great. What happened? I, I went to this like uh, this private Christian school when I was like kindergarten to third grade, I believe, and it was Mrs. Bockledge all the way through. And she was just very nice. You know, nothing but good memories. And then I went to public school, and that was a nightmare. Damn. Very different. Mine would be Doctor Keller. Mm-hmm. He was my band director for the first three years of high school, and my t- trombone teacher privately. Uh, he was a good role model and a great band director, and I learned a lot from him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't think he'd be proud of what I'm doing right now, but oh, come on, I tried. It's not your fault. It's what about you? I forget his name, but I had a uh, a philosophy of law professor who uh, kind of reminded me of like a not angry, sober Russell Crowe. <laughs> But uh, he's Wait, really what? smart. Are you what? You know, Russell Crowe always angry but... and drunk. Wait, what? Well, no, he's not always angry and I drunk. I feel like this oh, could be slanderous at some point. Here. I'm not speaking about Russell Crowe so much as my professor. But you, you didn't talk about your professor. You talked about Russell Crowe. Okay, predominantly. My interpretation of Russell Crowe is like the I only see stories about him, like whenever he throws his phone at people and stuff. I don't know Russell Crowe. He's probably a great guy. But I only know what the media portrays him as, all right? I, that's all I've got. You are but the this media professor kind of looked like Russell Crowe. He had like a nice voice. Like Russell Crowe's got a cool voice. He had a cool voice like Russell Crowe. But the professor was really smart. He was uh, tenured and he was like on, about to retire. And he, was, he just did not give a shit. So he would talk about whatever he wanted to. And it was usually something in, interesting. Uh, I really enjoyed the classes and I still felt like I learned a lot. It was a good class. This is not a Russell Crowe Cl- 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 slandle, okay? He's fine. <clears throat> I said that exactly how I wanted to say it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I've got one I can answer for all of us. Great, please do. Chloe wants to know if we'd ever come to England to do a meet and greet. We already did, sorry. Ah, got him. Uh, I'm trying to scroll through. I, I was going to make the cutoff one o'clock for the questions. I'm trying to scroll through and find a, a real banger to end on. I like this one. Uh, I've lost the name of the person who asked it. Uh, but someone asked what general Justinian asked, what do you think is the funniest or one of the funniest things each of the other one of you has said? Said? Uh, I would say maybe let's phrase it as what what is like the funniest joke uh, or thing that has happened that you have found the funniest be- of of us between us if you know what I mean. I remember when we were doing drunk Minecraft, and I feel like Mark had a spree of spilling shit on his various keyboards, and he had to pull out the tiny fucking keyboard and then bitched about it the whole rest of the recording. And at, oh, even, yeah. like, if I was sober, I would have laughed, but since we've been drinking, it was, like, a million times funnier. And I just remember, like, giggling my ass off the whole time he was on that fucking tiny keyboard. Uh, for Bob, it's either... God, Bob's Fridge, man, that distractible episode's gotta be up there. But also, I remember when we were doing speedrunners, and I ran the wrong way and died, and you <laughs> laughed for like, I mean, you laughed for such a long time, and you have like the best laugh, and I remember like editing that, and I would just listen to your laugh for like 30 minutes. That was really funny. <sighs> ah. It's hard to pick one thing. Okay, this is more of a thing that you do, Mark. But uh. since we've been doing the podcast, especially the the the, the like introductory clips that you make, the like I stingers. Oh, I yeah. turned around and he was right behind me. All of all of those always fucking make me laugh way too uh, long. I've been meaning to make more. I did have those fun are, with those, and then I fell out of those it. Those are good. Because <laughs> I was going to, my whole bit was just going to be, so I was going to come up with a nonstop. I'll get better about it. I'll get better about it. But those are gems. Uh, for you, Wade, it's really subtle. You make a lot of, like, pun kind of jokes and, like, word wordplay jokes, and those that's not a thing I find, like, funny all the time, but there's a certain tone that you take 
where it's like you know you expect people are gonna be mad at you or something like the way that you say it you'll just say it kind of like no oh. and you know she didn't mean to or something it's the tone the way that you say it it's like such a defeated thing but you just bust it out at the most random times it always makes me laugh what was that scream did you hear that i heard that i don't what, know what, what was that i didn't you hear, hear a scream call? No, what's happening? You right did, in the middle of right your as you were talking, there was like a oh, there was like, a, oh! <laughs> like what? What the? Did you play? Really it? Were you were you playing sudden. a clip on your end or something? No, what I'm playing music. That? Did someone jump in this Discord and just oh shit? Looked, I'm in the I, wrong I, place. I, I looked at both of you like trying to figure out which one of you was getting stabbed. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? No, who I know. was that? My stream. Did you? It was loud. My stream heard it. Yeah, it was it was loud. All of us heard it. Yeah, that was scary as fuck. Whatever it was. <laughs> what is it happening? Like someone was being murdered in the background. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Which one of you got replaced by an alternate just now? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think it was Bob because he's the only one that didn't hear it. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I'm kind of concerned. I don't. <laughs> Anyway, uh, my funniest way, I it's it, yeah, it's hard to contextualize ways, but I was I was watching this clip recently, and and someone made this small animation. It was just like I forget what he was talking about. Like, I'm sorry, invented, so like every time you do an exclamation like that, it just fucking always makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that even about? Do you guys remember that? I t I don't remember the context. What, what, like what a, was it? What did he say? I don't I don't know what he was talking. It was from one of the early episodes of Distractable. It was like it's already invented. So it's just oh. like the way he screams that it's just so fucking funny to me. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, mocking the people that respond to all of our podcast episodes like there was already a movie about this, oh, you know, right. it was called it was called ET, it came out in the eighties. Yeah, whenever you're genuinely mocking something, like you know, like you make a lot of jokes and stuff, but whenever it's like you're actually in like not you're you're mad about it, but just like you're fucking too engaged into it. It's very funny. <laughs> and Bob just uh, recently on an episode we recorded uh, this past week um, <clears throat> that we're not. I'm not gonna spoil, but just like <laughs> when things go wrong for Bob, I <laughs> in the same way as Bob's fridge, but it's just like very funny, no. and I can't wait for you guys to hear this episode because it's. Oh so, yeah, wait, wait. I got a quote from Bob. So I don't know good. if I'm supposed to read this or not. So good. Um, Bob's Bob's text to us after we recorded the episode was, "I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I've ever felt like such an idiot. I might never recover from this." <laughs> I I still like I felt personally embarrassed uh, for like the next few days, really intensely about that. Like I moped around the house. I still feel that. Uh huh the impact of what happened yeah and it, i'm in like a funk right now from the the level of idiocy that i put on display for you and is gonna be published yay it's so, see but it. it's so funny it's so uh, funny like it's just, it made me laugh so hard uh, well, the last like 10 or 15 minutes is just mark and i laughing while bob is struggling to uh, uh, yeah it's really bad. No, no, it's not really bad. It's very funny. Very funny. <sighs> well, uh, amazingly, that was not all the questions that we got. Shocking. But I really honestly did scroll through quite a few, and I tried to pick some bangers and only some fillers that were not that good of a question. But uh, I hope you got your question answered. If you didn't, I'm sorry, chat, but there were just a lot of them. Mm. There's a big, that's a lot. I scrolled all the way down. That goes on forever. Mm. Turns out you guys really enjoy that sort of thing. I didn't know that, or I may have planned differently. <laughs> Who could have known? Who could have known?